Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome back to Satisfactory. I'm just standing on top of my hub here, checking out my domain, which is very small right now. And I realized it's time to go for hub upgrade four, which is all of this stuff. And you know what? I'm pretty sure I can do it like straight away, just about. I can put all of this in, put all of that in. I just need some metal rods. And thankfully, I have this little constructor here working away. I'm going to change recipe to iron rods. I took out the plate that was there, so I really want to get this final, take a little bit of that and put it in, Yeah, I really want to get this final little upgrade done so I can get my miners going. I'll load it up with some of that and make sure it's really full, leave that alone, but I've got my stone miners cracking away, and the good thing is once I get my hub upgrade to level 4, I'll be able to put down automatic miners, and that's when the conveyor belts will start. It's going to be awesome. So the stone mining, whoa, game. This is a this is still pre-release, so don't be surprised. It's a few janky bits. Look, I've got all of these stone miners going because I want an absolute ton of concrete, and if I have to make it myself for a little bit, that that's okay. I will do it. But for now, what I will do is I want a bit of an easier way to get back up to the top. So that is going to be where the miner goes. I'm actually going to put down a foundation. I'm going to... Mm, uh, this one. Let's just line it up. Uh, no, maybe we'll go for the other one, which is a bit thinner. Yeah, will that work? And all the resources will fly out. And now what I want is the slope. And... Uh, then I should actually, why don't I sort this one out and add it to my, my hotbar. Okay, so five. Um, come up here. And uh, where are we? If I change the, add the ramp to it again. Eight by four. I'll go six for that one. Uh, six, like this. And then we can just work our way up. And the nice thing is I can even go through and uh, remove those bottom foundations if I want. So I don't know, what are we looking at here? Five. Maybe the less slopey one will be good. I think that'll look quite tidy. And yeah, I, I might just finish it off with there. There we go. So now we've got a nice little walkway down to all of these. And I can start planning my massive factory floor. So I'm thinking I will make the factory, and actually I need the the four for this, so um, I will make it sort of in this vicinity. And do I want it to be, or do I actually want it to be a little thinner? Um, a little flatter to the surface might be nice. Would there be any advantage at all to snapping it to this? Probably not. But I do like the fact that it would be kind of nice and tidy. I suspect that... Oh, uh, well, it does it does go underground, but it's not really perfect. Um, hmm. I might deconstruct this a little bit and actually put in a slightly higher one. So I can get the floor up slightly higher in this area. Because I would, well, wouldn't mind having it sort of continuous all the way over. And that's just me being a little bit... Uh, a little bit fussy. Um, that is that is just how it goes sometimes, isn't it? So five would five work there? Do I want that one? Let's have a look what that looks like. Is it a bit too high? I think it'll be okay. We'll, we'll just have to take it over and have an experiment with it. Well, I am really damn fussy. Uh, I did get it the way I wanted it in the end, though. So that's the way down. Here's the way up. And now we can easily lay out more foundation like the oh I've laid it weirdly. So I so I have. Gotta be a bit bit careful you don't click too quick. So this is going to be the foundations for the factory as it progresses down this way. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to realistically fit in up here. Like oh we need more stuff. So yeah, I've gotta be a bit careful. I don't know if I can fit a lot in. But we'll give it a go, and we're out of smelting. How are we for, for power? Okay, we can load that up, which is good. So I do need to top these up, and I need to turn all of this stone 
air, which I've got a pile, vast pile of. I need to turn that into concrete, which is going to take me a little while. So I'm going to do that. Actually, I'm going to be a bit smart. I'm going to do, I'm going to do that using a constructor because I don't think doing it any other way would be very sensible. So I want a couple of these. Uh, we'll put one um, here and one here. Put a power pole. Can we get one in? What do we need? Oh, iron rods. Okay, well, we should have a whole stack in here. So iron, whoops, iron rods here. Connect the power. And then this one to that one. And you, make me concrete. And take limestone. And you, make me concrete and take limestone. And I'm going to leave you guys alone for a second because I want to load up all the iron rods in here and upgrade our hub. Brilliant. We've got our automated... No, we've got a mail message as well. So it's X for mail. What's it going to tell us? You have unlocked ah, yeah. Feature, additional biomass generator. New buildings, which can be found yes. in the build menu. Additional biomass generator. Yes, there it is. Hub upgrade, molecular analysis. Note, to ensure full mastery of skills uh, and connect it. I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. Um, Good luck. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to get a power line running from this one to here. And then I think what I will do is just tear that down for now. And go to here. And then we'll just plug that one in. Alright, cool. So that's all. We're generating, generating power. And if I press E on here, I can see the capacity is 40 megawatts. Two generators. Which is just fine. Uh, why don't you also make concrete? And we'll load you up. Excellent. All right, so now we've got the automated miner. Let's see what next is on the list. So hub upgrade five gets us biomass generators and space elevator. So I'm going to just select that milestone. Uh, where are we? We'll chuck that in, chuck that in, chuck those rods in, chuck some plate in. Uh, we've got a few goals there, which is fine. So I'll get the smelters running again because we are a little short on uh, metal. And we should then start prioritizing getting the automated mining going. Just to make our lives a little easier. One of those, and one of those. And, yeah, what have we got here? Have we got, okay, so 10. Am I not clicking properly? No, I'm going to have to click and drag these. Oh, no, I think I got them. Good. And click. Okay, so let's have a look what the foundations look like. I think they're going to be okay. So, whoop. All right. How are they going to lay out over here? I would hope that they kind of... Oh, don't come here. Too carried away with my clicking. I would hope that they would snap quite nicely to where I want the factory to grow. Because you do kind of want the grid to line up in the right direction, in my opinion. So, I think... And obviously, we're a little... Oh, I don't know. This isn't too bad. We could definitely do all our concrete up here. And there's plenty of room for the constructors and what have you for that. Hmm. And there's plenty of room here for some smelting. So we could build a bit of a smelter array here then go down a slope. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So actually what I want to do, first of all, is add about four miners. So we're going to need a few things. So let's go and grab this stuff. Yes, we need a bunch of concrete. We need some iron rods, which I think I've just thrown all in the in the bin, basically. So let's just make some iron rods. And the portable miners are out at the locations. I'm also going to need a ton of iron plate because the iron plate's how we get uh, the machinery, the, the belts running. And it's going to be very important. We do want to set that up fairly promptly. So, how much have we got there? Oh, 40. That's probably a good start. Thinking. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. So, let's start with our first miner. We'll take you. Take you. And if we go to the Mark 1 miner, there it is. Da -da -da -da. I don't mind having it slightly blocked there. That's fine. So, we can put that one down. And I'd always like to put a power pole relatively oh I need wire okay of course I need wire and cables I like to have a power pole relatively close 
because I, I it's easy to sort of end up making so many power lines that you uh, don't you have to rewire your network basically you have to end up fiddling around all the time if you give each major device its own power pole then it's a bit easier to tack extra things on as you go <laughs> at least that's how I found it so cable a bit of extra cable that should be fine why have you guys all stopped what's going on in here oh uh take some more of the take some more of the good stuff and yes more limestone you have no idea my desire for concrete how much i wish to pave this world and we put a power oh, a power pole down and we create a power line to there power line to here we will almost certainly need a power line behind this building. And I don't like them to cross through the building, so I'm just going to kind of put it right up. There we go. That'll do. And it's going to connect there. And that's where we're going to take power down to the bottom. And for now, let's go and sort out all the stone. I think we can just get this, this automation piece done relatively easily. Yeah, these are already all turned off. So, do I have enough space to pick them up? They will drop on the ground without too much fuss. Uh, yeah, no, I'm full. <laughs> I'm going to have to take some of this stuff back. They will drop on the ground without too much fuss. But what I can do, actually, is lay out the uh, conveyor belt that I want. So I can put down this conveyor pole. Might put it off to one side slightly. Yeah, you're going to let me build it? Cool. And now... I can build conveyor belt and it's going to come all the way up here. Look nice and neat. Why will you not happily build other oh, slope? Okay, build up to this corner. Cool. And then from here up to here. And then we will have some kind of constructors along here I think so that's the belt laid in it's a little wobbly a little wobbly than I would like but that's fine I guess and what can we do I think we can just drop some of the junk here we get the factory down so I'm just gonna put this on the ground there we go nice little stack uh, take that and take that oh okay fine you need another little stack over here all right, cool. They will come in use, I'm sure of it. And now, where is our miner? This kind of miner. And bam. And that's very nice. And I've put everything in the way. So I have to put it away over here. Uh, we want to get that belt running. And three, this one, to there. Zwadoosh. I love how that looks. It's so cool. This thing, of course, needs power. So we'll run up the top and uh, put a power pole down here. Connect it to here and from here to here. And that should start working. Is it going to work? Yeah. I can hear the little drill going down. Brilliant. All right. Rock is coming out. Not exactly a, an awesome source, but it's okay. Actually, where's my limestone? Did I miss any other... Where is it? 300 meters? 200 meters? 300 meters? Now, that'll do for now. The other one's over the other side of the valley, so that's okay. Why is that so wobbly? Ah, okay, but it is very easy to fix. I can fix it. I just have to F to pick this up. F to pick this up. Pick that up. And now three. Come straight up here. And that'll do. That's that's pretty. That's good. What we need to do now is look at setting up at the constructors. How many do we need? Almost certainly only one for now. So the in is the green, and if I hold down snap, I can snap it to the grid. 
So can I just snap it to... What is it trying to line up with? Oh, it's trying to line up with the mine. Never mind. We'll line it up with this box. Um, which it won't really like if I get too close to the edge. I think that'll do. Uh, okay, hang on. Let's just take this off. Take the pole through to here. And then... Uh, oh, God. I've put it the wrong way around, haven't I? Uh, dummy. All right. So, uh, constructor. And... Uh, where we go? In. Hmm. That'll do. All right. Why won't you let me plug you in. What is going on? Hang on, we'll take away that. Uh, okay, come here. And three. Oh, a bit, bit, bit closer, and then this is so confusing. Oh, can't afford... Uh, okay, fine. I need more sheet of some kind. Okay, fine. So, I do also want to set up the power pole. Which, I think in this case, is just going to sit there. Connect it and... Down there. And we're going to tell it to make concrete. I'll give it its little kickstart there. Alright, that'll do. Very fine, thank you. How is this lot going? Oh, so I need to take that out. Okay, I need to take that. And I think probably load these up again. Yeah, they take a lot of concrete to make a stack of a concrete. Or a lot of limestone to make a stack of concrete. So, that's to be expected. And what do I need? More sheet metal. I can make some of that myself. Don't need that much to get this one started. Are we going to be able to do it from inside? No. No. Right. Okay. Iron plate. Give it to me. Lots of it. How much? 30, 33, 34, 50 will do. We can go finish off our little bit over here. And then we should really get the smelter running as well. That would make a lot of sense. So, where are you guys? Now, can I... Oh, that works fine. And in it, in it's going to go pretty much endlessly now. What I don't have, which is... Well, I'm just going to have to research it. What I don't have yet is a way to uh, store those goods that are coming out or to pipe them anywhere else useful. So that's a bit of a pain. And I should set up the smelter lines now, I feel. So they're busy smelting there. Um, and I could actually set up the second miner here. What do I need? Iron rods? No, what does it say I need? I've got the thing on the right. Oh, encroaching another clearance? Um, what if I rotate it a little? If it, uh, if it fires out the back? Sure, I don't want that so much. I don't mind if it does that. Alright, so... Hmm. Yep, they're good. If I put smelters along this edge here, I can actually bring in the copper as well relatively easily. So what I might do is... What am I looking at for a smelter? I've got all the, absolutely all the resources I need for that. So um, if I hold down control, it's going to get really weird about the grid. So we're just going to make our own grid to start with. And it's going to be on this seam line here. And I'm actually going to space it out for reasons that are going to be... Okay, so we're going to put a whole one through the middle. Yeah, that's going to be apparent later on, basically. The constructors require a little bit more uh, room than the smelters. So we're piping that in. And this one too. Straight in. Wham! I love that so much. The glowiness is brilliant. Um... Whoops, so we need a power pole. I'm going to put it uh, here. Connect these two. And I don't want to connect to four or four. I want to connect 
so I don't overload e any particular uh, pole. So I'm going to put a pole here. And I'm almost certainly going to refactor the entire base at some point. You just kind of can't avoid it. It's just inevitable. Iron ingots, they're producing. Iron ingots, they're producing. Okay, we're starting to get some semblance of actually decent systems running here, which is awesome. Stone. I do want to do that final... Okay, I need to go get the other stuff, don't I? I want to do that final miner, so... The copper one, I think. And for that I'm going to also need a, a lot, a lot of plate. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make that now. I'm going to make this plate and then I'm going to go towards the copper thing and we're going to run the copper mine stuff all the way back to the base. So now, oh, Mark 1 Miner, um, I can't afford. Oh, sandbags. Oh, damn it. All right, we'll go back and get these sandbags. So everything's looking pretty fine, I reckon. It's going to be very effective. And I will pull the copper in down into our little smelter row. We'll see how that works. It should be pretty good. I might even be able to make some little ramps up there, I think, to make things a little easier on the transporting. So I will worry about that when I move the foundations. Actually, you know what? Why don't I do that now? I'm curious what kind of foundations do I need to put this way? Can't get one in here. And then I almost certainly want, like, I think the low foundation will be fine. And then the thin one. And then the, I could actually pick up that thin one again now that this is placed, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm happy with it like this. It's fine. But why don't I put, like, if I put a power pole here, I'll be able to find my way back pretty easily. And where do I go to for, um, I'm kind of, uh, yeah, okay, we'll do that. I'm kind of breaking my own rule. So this way is the copper so if I actually just click if I click two and then click on the power line it will ghost me an outline of another power pole and tell me when it gets too far away should be able to make it up here okay floor's too steep now here's fine so we'll get it over here I'll just clear some bushes okay and mark one miner here we go so you can poke out that way give you power nice uh do we have an inventory space a little bit not enough what if i drop that useless pile of wood yeah there we go so now what we can do is let's lay the belt down it's not going to be the prettiest arrangement but it'll do the trick belt goes down and then over here to this it'll, it'll pretty soon tell me that yeah too long so i need to put down another um a little base thing I guess and then I can keep going and I'm gonna run it down oh it snaps to grid very nice game very nice indeed all the way down encroaching on another's clearance what I think it's just got didn't like going over that over the hump yep and then copper can come down to the line so we will put Kind of didn't plan that so well after all, maybe. All right, so where are we? Uh, smelter. And I don't know how much have we sort of got for clearance. We'll just pretend that that's fine. Can I actually put more foundations under here? Oh, I can? Oh, good. Sometimes you can't. Some buildings don't like it if you lay foundations under them. Um, out of that. Okay, that's fine and three conveyor belt straight into here please okay so what are we looking at here make copper ingots all right so what kind of copper quality have we got here as it comes down you can see how loaded the belt is um okay the belt's fully loaded there's a pretty good chance that this is going to back up so when i get a splitter i'll probably want to split so that i can set up more um more production basically power and that to a new power line. You guys are a little flashy. Oh, you're flashy. The light indicates what's wrong with it. You're flashing because it's full. That's okay. I can't do much about that right now. What I do want to do, though, is 
offload all my remaining stone. Alright, and maybe pick up the sandbags. Cool. So, that's going to go in. That's going to make stuff, make stuff, make stuff. They're all fine and, and happy as far as they can be. These are sort of in the way now. So, I think what I want to do is complete this little objective here and uh, then see how we're looking. So, put those in, put those in and make whatever's required that's left over. So, I've got to make a bit of plate. A bit of plate. I know there's some in inventory. A bit of other bits and bobs and we'll finish this little objective. Okay, the final resources are ready. Here we go. And now, hub upgrade. Bum, 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 bum. Hub upgrade five, and something cool is about to happen. Congratulations. Where is it? You, you can see it up there. Feature, you can see it up there. Also known as the man. Here it comes. Biomass burning. <laughs> this is so cool. Motivational message. <laughs> Motivational message. Yeah, you're to the drone thing of me, Bobby. <laughs> Awesome, so this is what's going to take. Okay, thank you, Ada. Shush now. Okay. So, yeah, this little drone thing here is to... Oh, gosh, okay. Yeah, that's what it's for. Samples. Ooh, we can research things. Yay. Future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and thus initiating project assembly. Good luck. Yay. All right. Thank you very much. So it looks like we got this new device, a storage container, which is going to be very handy. And I think what we're going to do is mess with that in the next episode. And uh, I hope you'll join me then because we've got lots of lots of progress to make and lots of things to do. Until then, I've been Tiny Pirate. Thanks for watching. Good night.